Okay, it's my last hike in St. George for the weekend. And we're back here at a favorite and the parking lot is insanely packed. Let me show you this. Wow, it has definitely gotten more popular since I came here several years ago. This is definitely one of my favorite trails in St. George. And like I said, it's been several years since I've been back. So I figured I'd come back and update my blog post on it, which you can get at the link below um, down in the description. And it's such a beautiful day. I mean, it's like 46 degrees, but it feels like t-shirt weather in the sun. So this should be beautiful. I can't wait to see the Candy Cliffs area again. So to get to the area where you can start exploring all the cool colored cliffs is about 1.3 miles along this dirt trail. And then once you get there, it's really up to you to explore wherever you want. So we are almost to the cliffs area and I'll show you guys some really cool rocks. Alright, well we made it to a spot that I want to hang out at for a little bit and just soak up the sun and got great views. There's a cute Charlie. And uh, gosh, it's so pretty out today. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Guess he wanted to lay in my lap. He's tired. We've done a lot of miles this weekend, huh bud? Man, this is such a great spot. Way more people than were here several years ago, of course. I've just been thinking about on my hike out here that, you know, times have changed. <laughs> you don't get to have too many hikes anymore where there aren't people and tons of cars. COVID just really pushed people outdoors. So there's still places where you can find remoteness, but it's just a little bit harder to get to these days. Hope you guys enjoy the view of Yant Flat and these candy cliffs. We'll see you on the next one.